Okay, hi everyone. I just want to thank you um, for joining me on Black Sit, and I want you. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I just want to thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I want you to keep following us on Black Sit, and as I said, I'll be sharing about our journey. I read a lot of your comments, and I really wanted to talk about why we came to um, Africa from the diaspora. And I've got two brothers with me who also are from uh, England and um, um, are uh, Arnold, <laughs> <laughs> um, who, who, who basically come via England, let's just say that much, yeah, yeah. Yeah. let's say we came via England, and who are here with me. So Black City is all about our journey back to Africa, and um, especially via the diaspora, why we came here and what we do here and how we survive. So I'd like you to introduce you to Michael. Come on, Michael. Well, um, yeah, Julia, we've known each other for a while. We met on a flight <laughs> that was very turbulent, and, um, and we've been friends since, and she's a dear friend. She's a very nice person with her husband, um, Adrian. But anyway, to cut a long story short, I've been in Gambia for about 15 years now. Um, I do so many different things. Renewable energy. I just came back from Sierra Leone, which is where I was born. Um, um, to implement renewable energy. Energy is very important in Africa. So, you know, for people like us coming in, as Juliet said, it's good to bring these technologies into Africa rather than expecting the Chinese and the Indians to keep bringing the obsolete equipment and think that they're blessing us. So we, we do our own thing and we bring the best for Africa because if it's good for the rest of the world, then it should be good for Africa. Absolutely. So that's one of the things we do. I do biz, um, 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 property development, so I build. Um, I've got my sports academy here, I'm the, the president of WBU Africa, which is the World Boxing Union. I started the All African Boxing Board of Control, so now there's a legal entity for um, African boxers to have professional boxing license to fight all over the world, and um, amongst other things. So it's been an amazing journey, um, I'm in and out all the time, but Africa's always been home. Going back to Sierra Leone last week, it was very emotional. Um, and um, yeah, we love it. You know, there is a, you know, Africa's in our heart. And when we, when you're in Africa, you know that there is a connection. There's something that sometimes you can't even fully explain, but you know there's a peace of mind that you get when you're in Africa. So the journey continues, I guess. Wow, excellent. Can you hear us well? Yeah. Okay. And my brother, introduce yourself. I'm NJ Ocean, and um, I was, I know Michael. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> to the boxing, my children go to the, the academy, and um, we've been here um, in in the Gambia now. For, well, I've been here for about 22 years in and out. So I've been Petrol. yeah. I've been there. <laughs> 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 yeah, my last two years, well, I've been here for about 22 years. Yeah, so I know this place uh, very well. You know, I have. Um, African descent in, in, in terms of my father is actually from Nigeria, but I grew up in in in, in Jamaica, Jamaica and New York for many years, for about three years, for about ten years out of school. So that was my um, you know, say condition to come to Africa. Because being in Jamaica, there's so much there's it, it's, there's a lot of you know there's it's a, it's, it's a lot to say to say you know mm -hmm. so. You know, so same thing, people in St. Thomas, big up, license, you know, around the northern place You know, so my uh, choice to come to, to the Gambia was kind of just, I came out of uh, America and uh, I met a, a brother named Yaya and he said to go to Africa and, and, you know, go to the Gambia. And I had it in mind that I wanted to find my family at the time. We'll, we'll get on to that. But I came down to the Gambia and really liked it. And there was a lot of, as I say, comparisons to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And I've been here ever since, basically. And the family are here, my children are here. They will go to the school up here, they go to the, the boxing club, where we know my club. And um, yes, I, I endorse anybody who feels that they want to come to Africa. Don't talk about it, just come. Just come and be with it. Yeah. Because that's all it is, because I see so much things on on internet and you know, I want to do what can I do. Come, you look, and decide what you want to do. Yes. I, you know what? So what do you do? What do I do? Well, I have, I've got some, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, 
No, no, not the beach car. I want the beach car. <laughs> I want to sit in that house under the palm tree <laughs> and drink juice. You know, yeah, that's what I want to do. But at the moment, I have some transport on the road, which, which is, is my monthly income. And also, I do carpentry and I was good at woodwork and metal work and all these kind of things. So I, I, I brought all the tools over here and I'm doing all of that. And that's, actually, I need apprentices. I need people to help me because I've only got one pair of hands. So I, I, I'm, I'm overloaded with work. In yeah. fact, there's no, no, you know, in terms of people saying, "Oh, how do you survive? How are you going to work? How is it going to work for you?" You know, it's easy. You just come and make the thing work. Mm. Simple. Yeah. You know, I'm because no, it just what I say now is everything's on the plate here in England. And I say that because, you know, the opportunities are there. Mm. Here, you come here and you say, well, there's so much things you can do. Yes. And you don't need a lot of money. Just bring your tools, whatever skill you have. Mm. Bring. Because it will add, it will add yes, to the Yes, bring, yeah, bring exactly. those tools. Yeah. Bring those tools. Mm. And you will realize that you can do mm. whatever. Because yeah. if, it's, if, it's, if you're sitting at a desk and you, and you, you write, you bring your paper, you bring your pens, and you bring your... Your, your, uh, your computer and, and all those kind of things. I bought my drill and I bought my hammer, you know, and I'll do that, you know. Mm. Some people can't cut it, but I can cut it. So, <laughs> so what's your message to everybody on a final? <coughs> if you're thinking about coming Black Sip, you're thinking about Black Sip? Black Sip. South Africa. If you're thinking about coming back to the continent, mm. right, it's a big place. Gambia is wonderful place, right? It, it, because anybody who feels that they want to come to Africa, don't talk about it, just come. Just come and deal with it. Yeah. Because that's all it is. Because I see so much things on the on internet and you know, I want to do what can I do. Come, you look and decide what you want to do. Yes. I, you know what? So what do you do? What do I do? Well, I have, I've got some, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, no, no, not the beach car. I want the beach car. <laughs> I want to sit in that house under the palm tree <laughs> and drink juice. You know, yeah. that's what I want to do. But at the moment, I have some transport on the road, which which is is my monthly income. And also, I do carpentry, and I was good at woodwork and metal work and all these kind of things. So I I, I brought all the tools over here, and I'm doing all of that. And that's, actually, I need apprentices. I need people to help me because I've only got one pair of hands. So I, I, I'm, I'm overloaded with work. In yeah. fact, there's no, no, you know, in terms of people saying, "Oh, how do you survive? How are you going to work? How is it going to work for you?" You know, it's easy. You just come and make the thing work. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm because no, it's just what I say now is everything's on the plate here in England. And I say that because, you know, the opportunities are there. Mm. Here, you come here and you say, well, there's so much things you can do. Yes. And you don't need a lot of money. Just bring your tools, whatever skill you have. Mm. Bring. Because it will add, it will add yes, to the Yes, bring, yeah, bring exactly. those tools. Yeah. Bring those tools. Mm. And you will realize that you can do mm. whatever. Yeah. Because if, it's, if, it's, if you sit in a desk and you, and you, you write, you bring your paper, you bring your pens, and you bring your... Your, your, uh, computer. your computer and, and all those kind of things. I bought my drill and I bought my hammer, you know, and I'll do that, you know. Mm. Some people can't cut it, but I can cut it. So, <laughs> so what's your message to everybody on a final? <coughs> if you're thinking about coming... Black Sip, you're thinking about Black Sip? Black Sip. South Africa? If you're thinking about coming back to the continent, mm. right, it's a big place. Gambia is wonderful place, mm. right? If you decide, say, you want to come to whatever, it's Kenya, Ethiopia, Ghana, Sierra Leone, wherever, Nigeria. You go there and you take a look and you, you seriously have to look and stay and say, all right, this is what I want to do. This is what I can do. This is where I can fit in. That's how I look at it. And you? Well, look, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to say from a, a, a little bit more of a practical thing. There's a lot of people, a lot of black people that come to Africa and they don't come to Africa to add. And this is a serious thing. Mm. No, this is serious. This is, they don't come to Africa to add, you understand? Because there's a, I always say there's a mentality that we need to change, you understand? And then they make you that come to Africa to add, you understand, more furious because you're thinking, you can do so much, you understand? So if you want to come to Africa, 
Africa don't need to carry your baggage. Yeah. You need to come and see what you can bring to Africa. You, can, yeah. you understand? And that's a serious message. Yeah. It's all good. We say, yeah, come over, come over. You come and stay in the hotels, have a nice time. <laughs> go, go on, go to, go to, um, you know, clubs or whatever. That's not what Africa's about. It's about what can you bring to Africa? How can you help? the development of Africa, how can you be useful, how can you have a purpose in Africa, because if you ain't got a purpose and you can't be useful or whatever, you know what are you, you're just a drag, yeah. you see what I'm saying, and that's what, that's the message, Black Sea is important, but that's also what yeah. we need to come with. So we come with purpose, Yes, exactly. uh, we come with our skills, we come with our trade, yes, yes. and then we Black Sea, yes, we right. come with a plan, That's right. okay, excellent, thank yeah. you both, yeah, that's thank you, mwah, <laughs> thank you, that's okay, <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us and um, keep watching, subscribe. We want more books. Yeah, we need more books. <laughs> Black books. Well, Watch. I like the fizz. Yeah, share, subscribe, follow. And uh, tune in to Wodemaya and keep following Wodemaya's channel. What do you say? Comment down below. Let us know what you want to see, what you want to hear. And uh, we will listen to you. And thanks to Oda Maya for helping us start this channel. Uh, one, one thing. As one I, last I, thing. As I was saying, if we're in the middle word in life, right? L I F E, right? If you're living in life, you really, really want to come to Africa, you just come. Take a look, see what you can do. And it's, like I said, there's so many things you can do here. There's so many things, and there's, there's so much people. Who, excuse me, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was an air horn. Yeah, there's so many people who, who, who you know, it's about bringing standards. So if you can try and bring standards and, uh, 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 and you know, make people climb the ladder, you know, because at the end of the day, sometimes people, they, they want to be able to do something, but they haven't got the... The, the, the skills or so if you can come with those skills and train teach, teach the people and yeah. train the people then you know we can move we can move up and everybody okay yeah I'm not so I'm there's a, the no you listen you done great yeah. you done great so yeah. the, the lesson is you know it's not just about coming with skills but sharing those skills yeah. and it's not just about being here but the great last question to you both is is life good in Africa? Because this is what I need for people to know. Because I'm saying life is good, life is good. But they're hearing it from me. Now I want to say, is life good in Africa for you? Life, look, life is good in Africa for us. You know, I mean, we, 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 we come with a lot more than the people have here. And life is good for the people that's here. But just like everywhere else in life. Uh, uh, quick one, just quick word, okay. come on. Okay, life is good. Okay, is life good in Africa if you for you? You've got £2.50, come. <laughs> <laughs> is life good for you in Africa? Life is, life is. Life is splendid. <laughs> no, I love that. It's, it's, yeah, splendid. It's splendid. It's splendid. I have to copy that. It's great. You know? Yeah. Okay, well, say thanks to the viewers Thank for watching the next video. No, no. My, my pleasure. Absolutely, both having you both here. And, and thanks for adding to the, the Black Sea channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see it up in the next couple of days. Yeah, I want to go and edit now. Why not? Why not? <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, take care. Okay. Excellent. Are you ready? <laughs>